fittings. You have to have a lot of fittings. You can always take them back and the last thing you want to do is have to run to your home center to get a fitting that you you forgot to buy. That just wastes a lot of time. So buy a lot of fittings and plan out your system if it's the first one you're going to do. Make sure you have enough fittings. Or you can use one of these snap fittings and your pack's just kind of goes right in there. Stabs in. In your copper. And go on the other side. And there you have a nice Pretty good thing. So it's another way to join copper and PVC pipe. Just take a quick look at that kind of thing. You just snap the pipe in. Another thing about pex tubing. If it's going to be in an area where animals can get to it, don't chew this stuff right up. So if you have an area where you know animals might get to, don't use pex tubing. Use copper. And that will save you from them eating through it and causing a flood. Also with pex tubing, it resists freezing. So if you have an area that might freeze, I would definitely go with pex tubing before you use copper pipe. If you have to remove uh, pex me from a fitting, just a little bit of heat, and that will come right off. Take a heat gun, heat that up, and it comes right on. And you can still re reuse your pack. It doesn't damage them that much.